Hello, today we will build this school Arduino calculator. It has all basic functions and it can be very useful thing on your desk. Of course you can always reprogram it and use it for something else. Uh, this video will be longer than usual because I will try to show you each step in building this device. So let's get started. For this project you will need a prototype board. Check description of video for more information about components. You will also need switch. I used uh, this type of switch but any switch will do the job. Uh, you will also need the coupling capacitor, 100 nanofarads, OLED display, 80 mega 328p microcontroller, resistor for LED, power indicator LED, 16 megahertz crystal oscillator, lots of push buttons, 17, two 22 picofarad capacitors. First I will solder a switch, capacitor, resistor and LED. On the left side of screen you have picture uh, so you can better understand connections. This uh, whole uh, line on board will be our ground and this whole line will be VCC. Uh, next I will solder sockets for microcontroller. All the display will be soldered last. The hardest and most boring part is uh, soldering all 17 push buttons. I will place first line of buttons and uh, bend right leg of each button. Uh, these uh, legs will be connected to ground. Check picture on uh, left side. I will do the same with all lines of buttons. These lines need to be connected. I will use this bottom part of the board and connect all lines to it. It is good idea to use continuity test on multimeter and check for mistakes. Now we need to solder crystal oscillator. Oscillator need, needs to be soldered to pin 9 and pin 10 on microcontroller. Thank you. 
Next step is to place and solder 22 picofarads capacitors. One leg of capacitors need to be connected to the crystal oscillator and other leg to the ground. It's the same rule with second capacitor. Let's connect microcontroller to ground and VCC. It is time to solder OLED display. I will I will solder OLED uh, ground ground pin to ground VCC to VCC. and serial clock and serial data pins check this uh, check picture in corner to find right pins on a microcontroller i almost forgot that uh, this 10k pull up resistor on a re reset pin I will now connect the uh, power supply to the circuit. I will use this 3.7 volts battery. But you can use whatever you like. This is the layout of our buttons. I will uh, write on each button a GPIO pin on microcontroller that we will use. This one will be connected to GPIO 10, 11, 12, 13. This one we do be connected to analog 0 and analog 1. Also this one will be to analog 2. When you finish uh, soldering, you will get a pretty messy project. Uh, you can use uh, another board uh, to make back cover and this project uh, will uh, look much more nicer.
before programming you will need two libraries you will need this Adafruit GFX and Adafruit uh, library for OLED download both of libraries extract them unzip and copy them to your Arduino installation folder mine is in C program files Arduino libraries and just paste them here. Open this library and in this file make sure that uh, right OLED screen is selected. In this case we are using this OLED. If you want to use uh, something else just Comment this and uncomment different OLEDs. But we are using this 128 32 OLED display. Open code, you will find a link in the description and upload to your. Arduino Uno. When uh, upload is over, we will need to take microcontroller from Arduino Uno and place it in our calculator. 